Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over, um, basically, I'm just going to be going on a rant a little bit. I'm going to talk about one thing mainly first in the video, so if you want to watch that, go ahead. But mainly the video is going to be about a rant going over some stuff that everyone's community is talking about, 709 and The Flash. I want to discuss it, because it's driving me nuts, and I think it's about time someone said something. So, yeah, that's what this video is. Um, if you enjoyed the video for whatever reason, uh, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, share it, comment, thanks for all the support. Also, Airwars Discord server, my other Discord server, which is for my community, for those who are subscribed, uh, are in the description down below. You can join both, join one, up to you. Uh, thanks if you join one of them, or both. Um, and yeah, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks, guys. Okay, so in 709, there was the time travel thing with Wells and Barry. People have been saying that didn't make any sense because Barry said he could lose his speed. He goes back, he's not forced from being created. And why would Barry do that? And then they go back and nothing changed or whatever the reasoning is. And Wells said it won't change, which didn't make any sense. Except it did make sense. If you watch the episode, and you know it did. Here's how it makes sense. Barry said he will lose his speed if he goes back in time. He was correct. Here's how he was right. And I'm not done explaining this yet. So before you go in the comments, you need to explain it. I'm about to. Just let me explain this part. He went back. If he went back in time without Wells. He went back in time. Let's say the tech and device worked when he went back. He got all the force particles, he ran back in time, he came back, he wouldn't have speed because that never happened. The part of the speed force wouldn't have been fully, it's like fully powered, if that makes any sense. Because it wouldn't have generated the new forces. If that makes any sense, I really hope it does. But Barry explained it in the episode. If he goes back in time, stops the speed force from becoming a thing again, stopping the forces from becoming a thing, that would affect uh, Barry's speed. He wouldn't have the speed force anymore. Okay? That's one. Number two. Wells, after that scene where Barry said he won't have his speed anymore if he goes back in time, when he got Wells and they came back to the present, Wells said he can put up a time barrier type thing in uh, the timeline to protect it from the past events affecting the present and their future. Meaning, they could stop the forces in the past by getting rid of the force particles. Still any events play out, but in the present, the forces, the people who are controlling the forces wouldn't have those powers anymore and they would leave their bodies. That's what that was. And that would prevent Barry from losing his speed. He would still have his speed because all the events that happened still happened. That's what happened there. A lot of people hated on that because, oh, they didn't make any sense. If you watch the episode, you know it made sense. Period. You should know that. If you watch the episode. Again, a lot of people don't watch the episode. I don't get it. Now, I kind of want to talk about the whole season in general. I know there's been a lot of people hating on the writers because they're saying Barry's role in this season is like a side character. He's not really the main character of the show. And oh, Team Flash is arguing with Barry like they do every season, even though he's been writing multiple times, which he has been. But Team Flash keeps arguing with them. What kind of writing is that? I do agree. The writing there with Team Flash arguing with Barry every season is getting kind of old, and I do wish they kind of fixed that. But... You know, whatever. I mean, I get why people hate that. What I don't get is why they hate what they're doing with Barry. Because you have to remember, not only is this a show where everything changes every season, which is a good thing. Look at Arrow right now. There were eight seasons for Arrow. We're going to be having an eight season to Flash within the next probably little over a year or so. Under a year, actually. It'll probably be in November. Um... If the show never changed, and it was the same thing every single episode for Arrow, for Flash, whatever, 
then there literally wouldn't be a show. It would be the same thing every single freaking episode. There would be no point for seasons. There would be no point for episodes. Characters change. Stories change in the shows. That's what they're meant to do. They might be going down the bad route with Barry. If you want to say that, you go for it. I don't really care what your opinions are right now. I'm not saying you can't share your opinions. I'm simply saying... Let other people say your opinions. <laughs> or like let, let other people say their own opinions. That's one key thing the Arrows community can't comprehend is people having an opinion. First off. Second off. Again, the show changes. If it didn't, it wouldn't be a show. It would be a big like 150 hour movie. 150 was a random number. But you get what I'm saying, hopefully. There are so many changes in the shows. That people hate on it. And it shouldn't be hate on. Because if it didn't change. It would be the same Barry. It would be the same Oliver. The same Kara. That we got when the show started. It wouldn't make any sense. People need to start accepting that the shows are changing. And for the better. If you can't see that. Then don't watch the freaking show. Third. I like what they're doing with Barry. I really, 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 really like what they're doing with Barry. I know people are saying, oh, he's a side character in this own show. I don't think he is. I think that's people just wanting to go on a rant, not really giving crap, seeing one teeny bad thing, and turn the whole episode into, oh, that episode was trash because this one little thing didn't make sense to me. If one thing doesn't make sense to you, doesn't mean it doesn't make sense to anyone else. First off. Second off, again, that's just you. <laughs> um, there's no reason to hate on a whole episode or a whole season or a whole show, for crying out loud. Because one episode was bad, or two episodes, or even three we're on episode 9, coming up on 10 of season 7 of The Frickin' Flash. If I had to say how many bad episodes there were in season 7, I would say there's two. Honestly. And none of them were past episode 4. I liked episode 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 1 and 2 were probably one of the... Well, 1 was actually pretty good. 2 and 3 were probably one of the worst ones this season. Honestly, if I had to say that, it would probably be those two. But you don't see me going on my review videos and saying, Oh, I hated this whole episode because episode 2 was so bad. Or, oh, because this one scene with Bottles in it was so terrible or it didn't make any sense. You don't see me doing that. And I think that's something a lot of people don't get. <laughs> just because there's one bad scene. Just because one scene doesn't make sense to you. Just because the writing was bad in one scene. And we all agree on it. Which we do for a lot of things on this show. And the others. <laughs> there needs to be an understanding in the whole Airless community. While just any show that you watch Flash or Batwoman. Or Supergirl or Legends or Black Lightning or Stargirl. Summon and Lois or even Arrow when it was on. Or on Netflix now, whatever. That the shows change. That is something a lot of people don't get. It was something that... I think people never really understood. <laughs> and honestly, it's been getting worse since season 7 of The Flash. Because people see, oh, he's, you know, he's basically a side character. He's not doing much. You know, he wasn't in this episode. Look at Arrow. Look at Supergirl. Barry, Oliver, Kara, whoever. The main characters of the show. We've had multiple episodes this season. Not just this season, but in the entire show. Where sometimes they aren't in the episode. So what? Deal with it. Now, the situation with Supergirl and Batwoman is a mess. That is multiple episodes for Supergirl where Kara is not even in the episode for longer than five seconds. And for Batwoman, she's not even the main character. It's Alice. <laughs> If you watch season 2, you know that for a fact. That Alice has more screen time. Who's the big bad of the season. 
than Ryan Welder, who's the freaking main character of the damn show. That's a different story. Which I'll gladly do a rant on if you guys want me to. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'll gladly do a rant on that. I'll do a 10 minute rant. Probably 20 minutes, honestly. But, but to compare Flash to another show with bad writing isn't really appropriate because it was one episode. And again, I love what they're doing with Barry, but I know a lot of you hate that opinion, so I'm probably going to hear it in the comments. People need to accept other people's opinions. We have the right to say our opinions. We have the right to say our own opinions. That is my point. I loved Arrow Season 4. I loved Flash Season 4. I don't give a crap that's an unpopular opinion. It's my opinion. If you don't like it, don't say anything. Like That's something that a lot of people don't get. That I've had to deal with a lot of for the past couple months, especially on my own Arrowverse server. And Pagey server, another like Arrowverse server, where I said I love Flash Season 4, Arrow Season 4, and I got bombarded of hate on it. It was a mess. Because I said I loved one season of the show that no one else liked. I, that really needs to be something that people need to start realizing. If you like this season and you don't, deal with it. If you like season 4 of Flash, I'm not going to hate you on it if I didn't like it. If you like Legend season 4, I don't. I'll say I didn't like it. You afraid you're on your opinion? I'm glad you shared your opinion. There you go. Simple as that. Why is that so hard for people to understand that? I, I get some opinions can be <laughs> bad. um, Because <laughs> I've seen some bad ones. But there's no reason at all. No reason at freaking all. To send hate. Towards those people for sharing a simple opinion from what they're viewing in the shows. Not one single reason. Unless you're just a single hypocrite who thinks everything revolves around you and only your opinions matter. Which I bet there's a lot of people who are probably watching this video right now think that way. <laughs> and I've met a lot of those people. <laughs> in my over server and page server on Twitter, everywhere. I've met them. There are a lot of people in the Arrowverse community who can't accept the fact that there are other people who have opinions about the shows and episodes. Now, like I said, you can have your own opinion. I didn't do this video, I didn't say anything I said in the past like 10-20 minutes about people going hating on the whole season to say you shouldn't share your opinions. Because you should, it's okay that you do. My point simply was, was that if one episode's bad, or one little tiny scene in the whole episode was bad, nowhere near means you can just hate and bombard the writers with hate based on one little scene and just hate on the whole episode, or the whole season, or the whole show, or the actors. Like, there's no reason for that. There really isn't. Now, for some shows, the actors are bad. I won't name what show, but if you're on my Universe Discord server, and you've been paying attention to chat, you know the answer to that. And you know what show I hate the most in the Arrowverse. I'm not going to say it in this video, but you know what? If you're on my Universe Discord server, you should know that. <laughs> what show I'm talking about. But I truly do believe it is important... That people realize that people have opinions in your overs. Period. If you don't realize that, don't comment anything. <laughs> don't say anything. You have... And again, there's no reason to send hate. Let alone, for, there's no reason to send hate for three things. One, one little scene in the episode. Two, sharing an opinion... And third, sending hate towards an entire season because you didn't like two, three, four, or five episodes. Deal with it. We're on the summer season. If the show wasn't good, it wouldn't be where it's at right now. 
Seriously. If the show, uh, if The Flash had all these terrible episodes, that's on you. That's not on anyone else. If you don't like the episode, that's your opinion. I, like, seriously, I think that's something a lot of people don't get either, is that it's your opinion. It's not a fact. Like, for example, the Flash Season 5 suit. I loved it. A lot of people hated it. I love Flash Season 4. A lot of people hated it. Again, I got a ton of hate for saying those two opinions in some of my videos. Deal with it! I... And I know a lot of people love Flash Season 4. But they get hate on it so they don't say it. There needs to be a change in the Earth's community. So when you say an opinion... You don't get spam attacked by people who don't share that opinion. It's something that a lot of people don't get. I'm going to end the video before I lose my voice or go on a bigger rant. And I have to record two parts of this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, share, comment, whatever. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Again, if you want me to do a Batwoman rant, I'll gladly do it. It'll be done in like five minutes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. But uh, yeah, probably not. Um, but thank you for all the support. I truly do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.